Respiratory infection in autumn and winter are common. There's no cure for the common cold, but flu can need treatment and get a serious complication. The flu can also be contagious and require a break from work. Today I want to explain the symptomatic difference between a cold and the flu, treatment and prevention. First, what causes cold or flu? Cold is a disease caused by more than 200 different types of viruses, including rhinovirus and coronavirus. There is a lot of rhinovirus in the late spring and early fall seasons and coronaviruses in the cold winter. The flu is caused by the influenza virus. There are three types of disease, A, B, and C. Among them, influenza type A causes mutations and accounts for 90% of the world's pandemic viruses, like the swine flu epidemic in 2009, and can have serious problems. Colds and flu. Did they have different symptoms? Colds develop symptoms one to three days after exposure to the virus. In general, cold symptoms mainly have sneezing, runny nose, stuffy nose, sore throat, cough, sputum, and muscle pain, and fever symptoms are mild in adults. Cold symptoms improve within one to two weeks without special treatment. Influenza has severe headache, high fever, chills, myalgia, fatigue, anorexia, and cough. It also can have respiratory symptoms such as sore throat, runny nose, and stuffy nose like cold. However, fever symptoms are common in children, even if cold. Especially symptoms do not improve or worsen even more than 10 days. Fever over 39 degrees, accompanied by cold sweats and chills, severe fatigue, pain in the stomach or vomiting, pain in the ears, severe headache, difficulty breathing, continuous crying. You need to consider complication of cold. Colds and flu. How about treatment? There is no treatment for colds. The flu can be taken by an antiviral drug called Tamiflu, which is effective if taken within 48 hours after the onset of symptoms. Colds and flu. Complications. A cold can cause acute otitis media, sinusitis, and pneumonia. Acute otitis media often occurs in children, and pneumonia is more common in children. The flu has many complications in people over 65 years of age. People with chronic diseases in the cardiovascular system, respiratory system, kidneys, diabetes, coagulation disorders, and immunosuppressive diseases. Pneumonia is the most serious complication, and influenza vaccination is aimed at reducing severe complications such as pneumonia. Colds and flu, prevention. Wash your hands frequently and keep your personal hygiene rules clean such as not touching your eyes, nose, or mouth with your hands. When coughing or sneezing, keep cough manners covering your mouth with tissues and sleeves. Wear a mask if you have fever and respiratory symptoms, cough, sore throat, runny nose, etc. When the flu pandemic, avoid visiting places where people gather as much as possible. Influenza vaccines are recommended for everybody, especially high-risk groups such as infants, pregnant women, the elderly, and chronically disease in your cardiovascular system, respiratory system, or kidneys. You can get a vaccination for metabolic and immune disorders such as cancer and diabetes. You need to do it first. Immunizations should be made no later than early November, two weeks before the flu epidemic begins. When you take a shower, use lukewarm water, not hot water, to avoid a sudden change in body temperature and other immunity. It is also important to maintain adequate humidity as the air dries. The airway also dries up and is prone to colds.